Could you kind of tell us a little bit about what PSA screening is and, and what it looks like or feels like even? Well, uh, the screening, the blood test itself is, is pretty easy. It's, it's just a, um, a, a standard blood, tress, uh, uh, blood test, so it's a, it's a puncture of a vein either um, in the top of the hand or the, um, the arm there, and so that's pretty simple. Uh, we get the results back uh, pretty quickly, and, and there's uh, various uh, range for that depending on your age. Um, and then there's also um, the uh, digital rectal exam where uh, because, and of course Dr. Bullock knows the anatomy better than I do, but uh, because the prostate is, is close to the, the rectum uh, part of the intestines there, you can actually feel on the backside at least if there are any, any nodules or, or abnormalities. Um, certainly if anything is felt on, on the digital rectal kind of finger exam, that should warrant consideration of a, of a biopsy, which um, Dr. Bullock and the other urologists do. Um, and uh, maybe you can uh, speak to the, now we have a, actually MRI guided that's right. biopsies. Would you like to describe so, that? So that's right. People ask for, one of the concerns with PSA screening, um, uh, the PSA is considered elevated, just in general, if it's above four. So suppose a white American with no family history comes in, and his PSA is five. You'll say, Doc, what's my risk of cancer? Well, to make it simple, you might say you have to biopsy five men to pick up one who has cancer. In African Americans, you might have to pick up three to four to pick up one case of prostate cancer because we have it more often, more prevalent. Wow, Doc, that, that doesn't sound like good odds. Maybe I shouldn't get a biopsy. Is there anything else I could do? There's different PSA derivatives, and that's a whole long discussion. Or there's a simple thing called a a 3T, or a Tesla, a stronger magnet strength MRI. And it's pretty good for um, aiding in the early detection of prostate cancer. And if you do see a lesion on the MRI, you can actually sync the MRI to a live ultrasound and then aim at the MRI needle using the live ultrasound. That's, a, that's really a high-tech technology that we have available to us at uh, the Barnes Jewish Hospital system to have that, and most systems don't have such a thing.